So we seem to be doing a lot of segments about stuff like this lately, and that's kind of terrifying, if I'm being honest with y'all. So um, I'm sure you've all been seeing this uh, on in certain places on Twitter, or you catch it on the news or whatever, but we just keep seeing temperature records getting absolutely shattered and obliterated. So uh, just the other day, Las Vegas hit 120 degrees Fahrenheit. And that is uh, an all-time record. I believe the previous record was 117 or 118, so they kind of shattered it. 120 in Vegas. By the way, it's sustained multiple days. We're supposed to be scorching hot over there. So that's just one example. We also have uh, Hurricane Beryl currently hitting Texas. Um, that was a storm that earlier... It was a Category 4 earlier on when it was hitting some islands. And... Um, they say that this is the earliest that we've had such a strong hurricane. Now, I, I warned you guys that because of how extremely hot it, it... I hope it's an anomaly, but it might be the new normal. How extremely hot the water is in the Atlantic right now, that we have the potential to have the worst hurricane season of all time. Because hot water fuels hurricanes, and that water is so abnormally hot, so above what it should be. And uh, so we already got an early hurricane. Lord only knows how bad it's going to get. So we got our first one... Uh, her, uh, category one now uh, hitting Texas. So we got heat records being broken everywhere. We have a very early uh, hurricane. It could be a harbinger of things to come, which is not good, but here's some more for you. So look at this. A human's maximum tolerance to a wet bulb temperature is 35 degrees Celsius for six hours. That's about 95 degrees Fahrenheit. However, NASA has recorded numerous occurrences exceeding this value, mainly in Pakistan and the Persian Gulf. In other words, the climate collapse is here. So all these places that we discussed, hey, in the future, most of them in the Middle East, actually, uh, they're going to be uninhabitable by the year like 2100. It's just going to be too hot for humans to live there. They're going to have to move. And then boom, you have climate refugees, right? They're saying that we're already at that point now in some places. Pakistan and the Persian Gulf. NASA points to risk of lethal heat in different regions on Earth. NASA projections show that some regions of the planet could become uninhabitable due to global warming. Brazil is on the list. For 12 months in a row, the global average temperature reached a record value for the corresponding month. For 12 months in a row. For 12... Oh, Jesus. In May 2024, the global average temperature was 0.65 degrees Celsius above the 1991 to 2020 average, and 1.52 degrees Celsius above the 1850 to 1900 pre-industrial average. The global average temperature of the last 12 months is the highest on record. The highest on record. Almost a degree Celsius above the 1991 to 2020 average. Last year, every turn of the calendar increased the temperature, and our planet is trying to tell us something. But we don't seem to be listening said the Secretary General of the UN, Antonio Gutierrez. The World Meteorological Organization's annual global decadal climate update states that there is an 80% probability that at least one year between 2024 and 2028 will temporarily exceed 1.5 degrees Celsius and a 47% probability that the average global temperature over the entire five-year period exceeds 1.5 degrees Celsius above the pre-industrial era. We are approaching climate collapse, says NASA. Jesus. You know those idiots over at NASA? Yeah. They say uh, we're approaching climate collapse. NASA shows which are the five most dangerous regions on the planet and likely to experience extreme heat events, making them uninhabitable by 2050 now. So they moved that up. It used to be like 2100. A human's maximum tolerance to a wet bulb temperature is 35 degrees Celsius or about 95 Fahrenheit for six hours. However, NASA has recorded numerous occurrences exceeding this value, mainly in Pakistan and the Persian Gulf. Wet bulb temperatures is the temperature felt when the skin is wet and exposed to high levels of relative humidity. In very humid, condition, very humid conditions, sweat tends to evaporate slowly and sometimes not at all. If the body cannot cool down, it will end up overheating, which can cause respiratory and cardiovascular problems. So in other words, they shouldn't call it the wet bulb temperature. They should call it the death temperature. Because that's really what it is. That's really what it is. So this is monthly global surface temperature here. See this line all the way at the top? That's 2024. That's 2024. Let's watch this again. Monthly global surf surface temperature. Here we go. All these are other years, 1950s, 1970s, 
all the way up through, and then boom, 2024, look at that. We are almost literally off the chart. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. The monthly global surface temperature, skyrocketing, skyrocketing. California's Death Valley has a chance to break the world heat record in the upcoming days. The temperature could reach 130 degrees Monday, according to the National Weather Service. Either way, the heat waves are starting to hit everyone across the country, but no place worse than at Death Valley National Park, where the temperatures are expected to reach 130 degrees Fahrenheit between July 8th and 9th. If it does, it will set the record for the hottest temperature ever reliably measured on Earth. This is according to Scientific American. Known as the hottest place on Earth, Death Valley currently holds the record thanks to its desert climate and has previously experienced temperatures of 130 degrees Fahrenheit back in August 2020 and again in July 2021. Chris Outler, a forecaster with the Weather Service Las Vegas office, said that there is a 20% chance the park will hit 130 degree mark next week. But what is happening at the park is also happening all across the southwest United States. Records could also be set in Las Vegas. It was... Phoenix and parts of Southern California. The city of Phoenix in Arizona has seen 14 days in a row with high temperatures at around the 110 degree mark. 14 days, high temperatures around 110. Such high temperatures become a risk, particularly for young children, the elderly, those who work outdoors, and people ex with existing health issues. Heat is the number one weather killer in the U.S., according to data from the EPA. Each year, approximately 1,300 people in the U.S. die from exposure to extreme heat. 1,300 people. By the way, did you know that Republicans in Texas and some other states um, removed all heat protection laws and said now it's not a labor law that you have to get a certain amount of time inside and in air conditioning if you're working outside in the heat? So now that number is going to go up. 1,300 people in the U.S. die from heat, extreme heat exposure. By the way, I can verify because, again, I saw this yesterday. We already had one person die in Death Valley and one other person um, one other person was hospitalized. And I don't know what's happened to them since. Because of the extreme heat. Because of the extreme heat. By the way, what happens if we start having like rolling blackouts? Because our power grid is shitty and fucking falling apart. We have rolling blackouts and it's 112 degrees outside. What happens then? How many people are going to die then? This is something we discussed the other day. This is something scientists are warning about. Experts are warning about this. You know, it's hard for uh, the power grid to handle extreme heat. Imagine the heat is so extreme and our power grid is so shitty that you start getting a bunch of blackouts in the middle of summer with record temperatures. That's a lot of death that we're looking at. That's a lot of death that we're looking at. The recent heat waves are proof that climate change is hitting us faster than we all thought. Between 1800 and 1980, average temperatures worldwide rose by about 0.13 degree for, e for Fahrenheit for every 10 years. But since 1981, that rate has more than doubled. And for the past 40 years, global annual temperatures have increased by 0.32 uh, degrees Fahrenheit per decade. Listen to this. The dramatic shift has intensified in the last decade. The 10 hottest years on record have all occurred since 2010. Let me repeat that. The 10 hottest years on record have all occurred since 2010. This past June was the hottest on record globally, and the planet likely had its hottest week in human history in the first week of July. The hottest week in human history. Here's something that occurred to me the other day, sparked by something I saw on Twitter. But what happens... When the climate changes so much, it ruins growing seasons. So all the crops that we rely on for our food, yeah, sorry, we weren't able to grow them this year. You know, food production is down 43% because of climate change. What the fuck happens then? We have billions of people on Earth. What happens then? Will there come a time where we can't make enough food to feed all the mouths? We already know there's going to come a time where there's war over water. We already know that. So look at what we're looking at here, man. An increase in extreme weather events everywhere. An increase in extreme heat, record-breaking heat all over the place. Risking, uh, you know, our food production. Running out of water in many places. Some places becoming uninhabitable. And we're doing fucking nothing about it. Nothing. The Paris Climate Agreement was a joke, right? It was barely half a step in the right direction. And we're all, you know, you know what it's like that scene in the Titanic where they're they're playing the violin as the ship is sinking? That's us. That's us. Nobody's taking this shit seriously. Everything's falling apart. Everything.
I wish I could come out here and put a cherry on top for you, but I can't. That's not my job. My job is to tell you the truth, and this is the truth. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop, and watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.